Hello students, welcome to our channel, Learning Notebook. In today's video, we are going to do complete chapter of fractions. In this video, we are going to discuss each and every concept related to fractions. So make sure you watch the entire video. But before starting with this topic, let me tell you that we have made video on all chapters of class 6 mathematics. We also have interesting quizzes on each chapter. You can find all of them on our channel Learning Notebook. Also, you can see a list of all such videos on our website. The link to our website is below in the description box. So let's see what all topics we are going to cover today in this video. First, we will understand what is fraction. Then we will learn fraction on number line, types of fractions that is proper, improper and mixed fractions, like and unlike fractions, equivalent fractions. Next, we will understand conversion of improper fraction into mixed fraction and vice versa. Next, we will learn how to make equivalent fractions. Simplification of fractions. After that, we will learn how to compare and order fractions, addition and subtraction of fractions. We will also solve word problems on fractions. And in the end, I will give you a worksheet for your practice. So let's start and first understand what is fraction. Fraction means a part of a whole. Let's take an example. Consider an apple as a whole. Now, if you give half of this apple to your sister, then half of the apple remains with you. And each of this part is called fraction. Fraction is written in the form of numerator upon denominator or we can say n by d. So what is denominator? It is total number of equal parts the whole is divided into. So in the example of apple, denominator would be 2 as the apple was divided into 2 equal parts. Now. What is numerator? Number of equal parts taken into consideration for a particular case is called as numerator. In the same example, the numerator would be 1. So our fraction would be 1 by 2. Now students, let's consider this whole pizza. This pizza consists of seven equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So this means each part equals to 1 by 7. Now suppose we ate three parts of this pizza. Then what is the fraction of pizza which has been eaten? It would be 3 by 7. This fraction means 3 parts of pizza have been eaten out of 7 parts. And what is the fraction of remaining pizza? It would be 4 by 7. This fraction means Four parts of pizza are left out of seven parts. So now I am sure you have understood what is fraction. Now let's do some related exercise. Write the fraction for shaded part. Look at this triangle. It is divided into three equal parts. So denominator would be 3 and shaded part is 1. So numerator would be 1. 
Therefore, the friction for the shading part is 1 by 3. Now, let's do the friction for next figure. This figure is divided into four equal parts and the shaded part is 1. So, the friction for the shaded part would be 1 by 4. Now, let's see the next figure. It is divided into eight equal parts and shaded parts are 3. So, the friction for shaded part is 3 by 8. We also have a separate video on complete chapter of knowing our numbers for class 6. You will find its link here on the top and below in the description box. Now let's understand friction on number line. Students, in previous chapter, we learned how to represent whole number on number line. Now here, let's learn how to represent fraction on number line. We will represent fraction 1 by 2 on number line. So first, let's draw a number line. Now, we know 1 by 2 is greater than 0 but less than 1. So, 1 by 2 should lie between 0 and 1. So, let's divide the part between 0 and 1 in two equal parts. So, students, now each of this part represent fraction 1 by 2. So, in this way, we have represented fraction 1 by 2 on number line. Next, let's represent fraction 1 by 3 on number line. So, first of all, let's draw a number line. Now, again, we know 1 by 3 is greater than 0 but less than 1. So, it should lie between 0 and 1. So, to represent fraction 1 by 3, we now need to divide this part between 0 and 1 in 3 equal parts. Like this. So, students, each part now represent fraction 1 by 3. This first part represent 1 by 3. Second part represents 2 by 3 and this third part represents fraction 3 by 3 or we can say 1. So, in this way we can represent any fraction on number line. Now, let's move to our next section, types of fractions. In this section, we will learn the following types of fractions. Proper, improper and mixed fractions. Unique fractions, like and unlike fractions. And equivalent fractions. So, let's first learn about proper, improper and mixed fractions. Look at this figure. It is proper for the large person to hold up the small person. So, in the same way, 3 by 8 is a proper fraction because it is proper for the large number to hold up the small number. So, students, it means fractions which have numerator less than the denominator, they are called as proper fractions. For example, 2 by 5, 4 by 7 and 9 by 11. These all are 
proper fractions because their numerator is less than their denominator. Now let's understand improper fractions with the help of this figure. Here it is improper for the small child to hold up the large person. So, 8 by 3 is an improper fraction because it is improper for the small number 3 to hold up the large number 8. So, fractions which have numerator greater than the denominator, they are called as improper fractions. For example, 6 by 5, 9 by 7, 16 by 11, all these are improper fractions because their numerator is greater than their denominator. Now let's understand what are mixed fractions. Fractions which have two parts, a whole number, followed by a proper fraction are called mixed fractions. For example, fraction 1, 2 by 7. Here, 1 is the whole number and fraction 2 by 7 is a proper fraction. So, 1, 2 by 7 is a mixed fraction because it has two parts, a whole number and a proper fraction. We also have a separate video on complete chapter of decimals for class 6. In this video, you can learn about unlike and like decimals, how to add and subtract decimals, how to compare decimal numbers and also how to solve word problems related to decimals. You will find the link to this video here on the top and below in the description box. Now let's continue with our topic unit fractions. Fractions with numerator 1 are called unit fractions. Let's take few examples. 1 by 7, 1 by 2, 1 by 16. In all these three fractions, numerator is 1. So all of these fractions are unit fractions. Next, let's learn about like and unlike fractions. So what are like fractions? Fractions which have same denominator are called like fractions. For example, 1 by 7, 2 by 7 and 5 by 7. These three are like fractions because they have same denominator 7. Now what are unlike fractions? Fractions which have different denominator are called unlike fractions. For example, 1 by 7, 2 by 8 and 2 by 9. These are unlike fractions because they have different denominator 7, 8 and 9. Students, we also have a very interesting working model to understand and learn types of fractions. I am sure you will enjoy this creative activity. The link to this video is below in the description box. Now let's learn how to convert improper fraction into mixed fraction. Question is convert 13 by 7 into mixed fraction. So here students we are given with an improper fraction 13 by 7 and we have to convert it into mixed fraction. For this, we will follow two steps. In step 1, we will divide and find the remainder. So, let's divide 13 by 7. 
7 into 1 equals to 7 and 13 minus 7 equals to 6. Our step 1 is complete. Now let's move to step 2. Write in the form of Q R by D where Q is the question, R is the remainder and D is the divisor. So here the question is 1, remainder is 6 and the divisor is 7. So students, we have converted this improper fraction 13 by 7 into mixed fraction 1, 6 by 7. So this is how we convert improper fraction into mixed fraction by following two steps. Let's do one more question. Convert 42 by 11 into mixed fraction. So again, we will do this in two steps. Step 1 is divide and find remainder. So let's divide 11 into 3 equals to 33 and 42 minus 33 equals to 9. So our first step is complete. Step 2 is write in the form Q R by D. So here we have found out that quotient is 3, remainder is 9 and divisor is 11. So students, we have converted improper fraction 42 by 11 into mixed fraction 3, 9 by 11. Now we will learn how to convert mixed fraction into improper fraction. Question is convert 1 3 by 5 into improper fraction. So here we are given with a mixed fraction 1 3 by 5 and we have to convert it into an improper fraction. First students always remember that denominator in both these fractions would always be same which is the divisor. Now to find the numerator we will multiply divisor by question first and then add remainder to it. So here divisor is 5, question is 1 and remainder is 3. So we get 5 into 1 plus 3 upon 5 which is equals to 5 plus 3 upon 5 and 5 plus 3 equals to 8. So we get the improper fraction as 8 by 5. So this is how we have converted a mixed fraction 1 3 by 5 into an improper fraction 8 by 5. Let's do one more question. Convert 2 1 by 7 into improper fraction. So students, as I told you in the previous question, denominator of both the fractions will remain the same. So let's write the denominator as 7. Now to find the numerator, we will multiply Divisor which is 7 by quotient which is 2. And then we will add remainder 1 to 8. So we get 7 multiplied by 2 plus 1 upon 7. Which is equals to 14 plus 1 upon 7. And 14 plus 1 is 15. So we get 15 by 7. So we have converted mixed fraction 2 1 by 7 into improper fraction 15 by 7. Students, we also have a separate video on complete chapter of basic geometrical ideas for class 6.
In this video, you can learn about types of lines, angles, polygons, quadrilaterals, and lot more. You will find the link to this video here on the top and below in the description box. Now our next topic is equivalent fractions. Fractions which represent same portion of whole are called equivalent fractions. Let's understand it with the help of an example. The fraction for the shaded part in first circle is 1 by 2. The fraction for the shaded part in second circle would be 2 by 4. Can you tell me the fraction for shaded portion in the third circle? Yes, it is 3 by 6. And for fourth circle, the fraction is 4 by 8. So students, did you notice that the colored portion of all the four circles represent same portion of whole? Such fractions are called equivalent fractions. Now we will learn how to make equivalent fraction. We can make equivalent fractions by multiplying or dividing numerator and denominator by same number. Let's understand this with the help of examples. Suppose we are given with a fraction 1 by 2 and we have to write its equivalent fraction. So for this we will multiply both numerator and denominator by same number, let's say 2. So 1 into 2 equals to 2 and 2 into 2 equals to 4. So 2 by 4 is an equivalent fraction for 1 by 2. Now suppose we have to write one more equivalent fraction of 1 by 2. So what will we do? We will again multiply both numerator and denominator by same number, let's say 3. So 1 into 3 equals to 3 and 2 into 3 equals to 6. So 3 by 6 is another equivalent fraction of 1 by 2. So in this way, we can find more equivalent fractions of 1 by 2 by multiplying numerator and denominator by same numbers like 4, 5, 6 and so on. Now let's take another example. The fraction is 1 by 7 and we have to find its equivalent fraction. So let's multiply both numerator and denominator by same number, let's say 5. So 1 into 5 equals to 5 and 7 into 5 equals to 35. So 5 by 35 is an equivalent fraction of 1 by 7. Now let's see next example. We will find equivalent fraction of 9 by 21, but this time by dividing. So let's divide both numerator and denominator by same number, let's say 3. So 9 divided by 3 equals to 3. And 21 divided by 3 equals to 7. So 3 by 7 is an equivalent fraction of 9 by 21. So students, this is how we make equivalent fractions either by multiplying or by dividing the numerator and denominator by same number. Students, we have got a very interesting activity on how to find equivalent fractions of given fraction. You will find the link to this video below in the description box. Now we will learn simplification of fraction. 
simplifying the fraction means reducing the fraction to its lowest form so let's see how to simplify the fraction divide numerator and denominator of fraction by common factors till the fraction is in lowest form let's understand this with the help of few examples the given fraction is 21 by 63 now students as you can see this fraction is not in its simplest form because 3 is a common factor of both numerator and denominator so to reduce this fraction in its simplest form we will divide both numerator and denominator by common factor 3 So twenty one divided by three equals to seven, and sixty three divided by three equals to twenty one. So we get seven by twenty one. Now again look at this fraction carefully, and you will find that seven is a common factor between numerator and denominator. So let's again divide this fraction by seven. Seven divided by seven equals to one. And twenty one divided by seven equals to three. Now we get one by three. Is there any common factor between one and three? No. So now this fraction is in its simplest form. Now let's see another example. The given fraction is forty by forty eight. Now, what is the common factor between both of these? It is two. So let's divide both numerator and denominator by two. We get twenty by twenty-four. Again, if you notice, two is a common factor between numerator and denominator. So again, we will divide by two. We get ten by twelve. Now, is there any common factor between numerator and denominator? Yes. Again, it is two. So let's divide by two again, and we get five by six. Now, students, there is no common factor between numerator and denominator. So five by six is in its simplest form. Students. we can also reduce the same fraction 40 by 48 by dividing numerator and denominator by 8 or you can divide numerator and denominator by 4 first and then divide by 2 we will get the same answer in all these cases as 5 by 6 students we also have a separate video on complete chapter of knowing our numbers for class 6 in this video you can learn about place value of large numbers indian number system and international number system you will find the link to this video here on the top and below in the description box now let's move to our next topic comparing and ordering fractions now students let's understand how to compare like fractions since in the like fractions the denominators are same so we just need to compare their numerators for example there are two like fractions 2 by 7 and 5 by 7 we have to compare them since they have same denominators so we will just compare their numerator 2 is less than 5 so fraction 2 by 7 is less than fraction 5 by 7 now let's see the next example circle the smallest and greatest fraction in this group So here we are given with four like fractions and we have to find the smallest and greatest fraction. 
as i told you in like fractions the denominators are same so we just need to compare their numerators the smaller the numerator the smaller is the fraction here the smallest numerator is 3 so smallest fraction will be 3 by 11 in the same way the greater the numerator the greater is the fraction so the greatest numerator is 9 so greatest fraction is 9 by 11 So students we have learned how to compare like fractions now see how to order like fractions arrange the following in ascending order so we are given with three like fractions 5 by 7 1 by 7 and 3 by 7 and we have to arrange them in ascending order here the smallest numerator is 1 so smallest fraction is 1 by 7 next is 3 by 7 and then we have 5 by 7 so now i'm sure you must have understood how to compare like fractions and how to order like fractions now let's see how to compare unlike fractions students since in unlike fractions the denominators are different so we will use cross multiplication technique to compare unlike fractions so let's see what is cross multiplication technique and how to use it to compare unlike fractions let's compare two unlike fractions 2 by 5 and 3 by 8 since these are unlike fractions so their denominators are different so we just cannot just compare the numerators instead we will use cross multiplication technique so students look here carefully in the cross multiplication technique we will first multiply 2 by 8 and then 3 by 5 So two into eight equals to sixteen, and three into five equals to fifteen. Now, since sixteen is greater than fifteen, so fraction two by five is greater than fraction three by eight. Let's see another example. Compare. 4 by 7 and 6 by 9 again to compare these two unlike fractions we will use cross multiplication technique so first we will multiply 4 by 9 and then 6 by 7 4 into 9 equals to 36 and 6 into 7 equals to 42 now since 36 is less than 42 so it means fraction 4 by 7 is less than fraction 6 by 9 so students i am sure you have understood how to compare unlike fractions now let's learn how to order unlike fractions arrange the following in ascending order we are given with four unlike fractions and we have to arrange them in ascending order here look at these fractions these four fractions have same numerators but different denominators since the numerators are same we will just compare their denominators greater the denominator the smaller is the fraction so here denominator 7 is greater than 5 5 is greater than 4 and 4 is greater than 3 so this means fraction having denominator 7 is the smallest fraction next fraction with denominator 5 
is greater than fraction 2 by 7. In the same way, fraction with denominator 4 is greater than fraction 2 by 5 and in the end, fraction with denominator 3 is greater than fraction 2 by 4. So students, while ordering unlike fractions with same numerator, do remember that greater the denominator, the smaller is the fraction. Let's do one more example. Arrange the following fractions in descending order. So we are given with four fractions, 1 by 4, 1 by 7, 1 by 2 and 1 by 9. And we have to arrange them in descending order. Here, again notice carefully that all the fractions have same numerator but different denominators. So let's just compare their denominator. But remember that smaller the denominator, the greater is the fraction. Here, we have to arrange in descending order. It means we first have to find the greatest fraction. Greatest fraction will be the one which has smallest denominator. And students, look carefully. Smallest denominator is 2. Therefore, greatest fraction is 1 by 2. Next, denominator 4 is greater than 2. So, it means fraction 1 by 4 is less than 1 by 2. Then, denominator 7. It is greater than 4. So, it means fraction 1 by 7 is less than 1 by 4. And next, we have denominator 9, which is greater than 7. So, fraction 1 by 9 is less than fraction 1 by 7. So, we have arranged the unlike fractions in descending order. So, students, now I hope you have understood how to compare and order unlike fractions. Students, we also have a separate video on complete chapter of mensuration for class 6. In this video, you can learn what is perimeter, how to find perimeter of rectangle, square and triangle, then what is area and how to find area of square and rectangle. The link to this video is here on the top and below in the description box. Now let's move to our next topic, addition and subtraction of fractions. First, we will learn how to add and subtract like fractions. Question is, add fractions 7 by 45 and 8 by 45. As you can see, both these fractions are like fractions. Their denominator 45 is same. So, we will just add their numerators. So, we will do 7 plus 8 upon 45 as the denominator would remain the same. 7 plus 8 is 15. So, we get the fraction 15 by 45. Now students, look at this fraction carefully. You will find that this fraction is not in its simplest form. So we will reduce this fraction to its simplest form. Both the numerator and denominator have common factor 15. So, so let's divide both numerator and denominator by 15. And we get the fraction as 1 by 3. So, do remember to reduce the fraction to its simplest form. Now, let's see how to subtract like fractions. Question is 17 by 33 minus 6 by 33. 
again students we will just subtract the numerators here because the like fractions have same denominator so we will do 17 minus 6 upon 33 so 17 minus 6 equals to 11 so we get the fraction as 11 by 33 now check if this fraction is in its simplest form no this fraction is not in its simplest form so let's reduce this fraction by dividing with the common factor 11 so we get the answer as 1 by 3 so this is how we add and subtract like fractions now let's learn how to add and subtract unlike fractions question is add fractions 1 by 3 and 1 by 5 now students here you can see both these fractions have different denominators so these are unlike fractions so to add unlike fractions we first have to convert them to like fractions and to convert them into like fractions we have to find the lcm of their denominators so lcm of 3 and 5 is 3 into 5 equals to 15 now we will convert these unlike fractions into equivalent fractions of denominator 15 first unlike fraction is 1 by 3 so let's multiply both numerator and denominator by 5 so we get the fraction as 5 by 15 second fraction is 1 by 5 again to make its denominator 15 we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 3 so we get the fraction as 3 by 15 so now we have made both the unlike fractions into like fractions next we will follow the same steps as we did to add like fractions now let's add the numerators of these like fractions we get 5 plus 3 upon 15 which is equals to 8 by 15 now students as we can see both numerator and denominator have no common factor so this means this fraction 8 by 15 is in its simplest form so this is our answer now let's see how to subtract unlike fractions question is 16 by 5 minus 7 by 10 so here students again to subtract these two unlike fractions we first need to convert them into like fractions and for this we have to find the lcm of their denominators so lcm of 5 and 10 is 10 Now let's convert these unlike fractions into equivalent fractions of denominator 10. So first fraction is 16 by 5. So to make its denominator as 10, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. We get 32 by 10. Now look at the second fraction 7 by 10 it already has denominator as 10 so students we have converted two unlike fractions into like fractions now we will follow the same steps to subtract the like fractions so let's subtract the numerators 
So 32 minus 7 upon 10. 32 minus 7 equals to 25. So we get the fraction as 25 by 10. Now we can see that both numerator and denominator have common factor 5. So let's reduce this fraction into its simplest form. We get 5 by 2. 5 by 2 is an improper fraction. Students, never leave the answer as improper fraction. Always convert it into a mixed fraction. So let's do it. And we get the mixed fraction as 2, 1 by 2, which is our answer. So students, this is how we add and subtract unlike fractions. Students, we would like to tell you that we have made videos on every chapter of class 5, class 6 and class 7 mathematics. We also have interesting worksheets, quizzes, working models, activities and projects on each chapter. So I would suggest you to check out our channel Learning Notebook. Now let's learn how to solve word problems related to addition and subtraction of fractions. So word problem is mother purchased 4 1 by 2 kg of potatoes, 3 1 by 4 kg of onions and 1 1 by 8 kg of tomatoes. What is the total quantity of vegetables purchased by the mother? So here we are given with different quantities of vegetables purchased by the mother. And we have to find total quantity of vegetables purchased by her. So it means we have to add these three fractions. So first let's write the statements. Quantity of potatoes purchased equals to 4 1 by 2 kg. Now this is a mixed fraction. So let's first convert it into an improper fraction. We get 9 by 2 kg. Next, quantity of onions purchased equals to 3 1 by 4 kg. Again, let's convert it into an improper fraction. We get 13 by 4 kg. And then quantity of tomatoes purchased equals to 1, 1 by 8 kg, which is equals to 9 by 8 kg. Now to find total quantity of vegetables purchased, we will add these three improper fractions. Now students, as you can see, these are unlike fractions. And as I told you previously, to add unlike fractions, first we have to convert them into like fractions. So let's find the LCM of their denominators. LCM of 2, 4 and 8 is 8. So now we will make equivalent fractions with denominator 8. So first fraction is 9 by 2. So to make its denominator as 8, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. We get 36 by 8. Now second fraction is 13 by 4. Here to make its denominator as 8, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. We get 26 by 8. And third fraction 9 by 8 has denominator as 8 already. So now we have got the like fractions. So let's add them. For this, we will just add their numerators. So 36 plus 26 plus 9 
equals to 71. So we get the friction as 71 by 8. Now as you can see, numerator and denominator have no common factor. So it means this friction is in its simplest form. But students, this friction is an improper friction. So let's convert it into a mixed friction. We get 8, 7 by 8. So this is our answer. We will write the answer statement. Total quantity of vegetables purchased by mother is 8, 7 by 8 kg. Let's see the next word problem. A drum full of rice weighs 41 by 6 kilogram. If empty drum weighs 13, 3 by 4 kilogram, then find the weight of rice in the drum. So here we are given with the weight of a drum full of rice as well as weight of an empty drum. So to find weight of rice, we will subtract these two fractions. So let's write the statements first. Weight of drum full of rice equals to 41 by 6 kilogram. Convert it into an improper friction and we get 241 by 6 kilogram. Then weight of empty drum equals to 13 3 by 4 kg which is equals to 55 by 4 kilogram. Now to find the weight of rice in the drum, we will subtract these two fractions. So now to subtract these two unlike fractions, first we will convert them into like fractions. So let's find the LCM of their denominators. LCM of 6 and 4 is 12. Now let's make these fractions as equivalent fractions with denominator 12. So first friction is 241 by 6. To make the denominator 12, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. We get 482 by 12. Second fraction is 55 by 4. Now here to make denominator as 12, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. We get the fraction as 165 upon 12. So now we have got the fractions as like fractions. So let's just subtract their numerators. So 482 minus 165 equals to 317. And the denominator 12 remains the same. So we get the fraction as 317 by 12. Now this is an improper fraction. Let's convert it into a mixed fraction. So we will divide 317 by 12. So we get the remainder as 5 and quotient as 26. So mixed fraction is 26 5 by 12. So this is our answer. Let's write the answer statement. Weight of rice in the drum is 26 5 by 12 kilogram. Now students, in the end, I am giving you a worksheet for your practice. This worksheet contains questions from all the sections of the chapter which I have just taught to you.
If you have skipped any of the section, I will suggest you to first understand that section and then attempt this worksheet. Do watch my other videos and share my channel and my videos with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.